Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to edit the Windows registry using PowerShell. So let me jump into registry. Okay, uh, you may uh, come into a scenario wherein you will be asked to uh, change the uh, some registry values or if you want to make uh, some uh, changes uh, manually. So what you do, you go into a registry and then you will go to each and every folder and then you will do it, right? So instead of that, uh, if you know the path of the uh, current uh, uh, parameters, what you can do is uh, you can keep that path and then you can make the registry changes uh, easily uh, using PowerShell. So instead of going to each and every folder by swiping up and down, so it is a tedious task. So instead you can use PowerShell to automatically uh, do it in a single uh, command. So let's say for an example, uh, you got a request to change the RDP port number. Okay, so I am going to IHK local machine system, current control set, control, terminal server, and win stations, RDP, and the port number. Okay, so you have to travel this much, right? And you need to click on each and every folder and come to this port number to change the value. So to do manually what you do you come in here and then you will change the uh, uh, values here by selecting decimal and whatever the port number you wish to so if you know this path in the future you can copy it and then you can easily make the changes so first we need to find out what is the value kept for port number so i will open powershell so to know the uh, values that has been set in registry so we can use a command get item so it is like getting an uh, uh, value get item property and you go to uh, path so if you know the path path and uh, hklms nothing but uh, local machine you have hk local machine here right that's same as hk local machine semicolon and the path from where from system to RDP copy paste here and then uh, here you need to know which value you are going to make a changes so you have a name a property value and then you have a property uh, value for data so what you have to do is once you hit this path RDP TCP then you need to mention which uh, name is it going to be so let's say for an example I will close this one I push enter okay you are getting so many things here it's because the values which is written here these are the values which are showing up here so here you want to change only the uh, uh, port number isn't it so here the name for the port number is port number so what you can do is just type only the name name I need only the port number to be viewed what is the current port number that has been set I push enter and I get the value the current port number is 3389 so in order to change it what you have to do is instead of doing get property you can use set item property is that as simple get items uh, property is similar to uh, like uh, you do in a command prompt so property set item property path same path paste it here and you need to give the value okay so how do I get uh, the name value it is from the registry so name is port number and uh, uh, data data is the value 3389 so I need to change the data right so I got a request to uh, keep it on 3390 let's say okay and I push enter that's it so the value has been set so now again we need to check whether the uh, current value which has been set is reflecting or not go to view refresh and now you can see the port number is 3390 and if you want to uh, view it from here use the same command get item property port number push enter see this is the value which has been set right now 
okay um, this is how you do uh, make changes uh, in uh, powershell for uh, any uh, registry settings okay i hope you like this video thanks for watching and good day bye bye